Yeah. It's the morning. Around here. Yeah. But it rained last night. Well, it's a good thing I did the lawn mowing yesterday. Because today. There's rainwater all over my new tractor. Hmm. Hmm, what a bummer. Well, the water beads up pretty nice on it though, doesn't it? Hopefully that'll dry off a little bit. And the birds are tweeting. Here's the crate. Yeah, that was fun. Stay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. There it is. Oop. Let's see. Well, anyway, um, there it is. Here's my little tool on the left, right here. I think that's how you get the, that's how you, I'm hard to work this thing. That's how you get this uh, spindle out of here. I think there's a taper up in here. Then you, you take your tool. Stick your tool in here somehow, right there, or over here on this side. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Well, anyway, I bought this thing. There's a five-eighths chuck. See what this thing used. And um, it's uh, got one of these safety switches on it. So you pull this out and it doesn't work. And it's got a light bulb on it, which is nice. And it's got a bunch of speed changing things here. I guess I could go slower by quite a few, huh?
I don't know. I have yet to play with that. So what I'm going to do today is um, I got this, which is a stiffening member that's going to go down here and hold that light bulb and another light bulb thing over. And when I built this thing, this hole got drilled in where it's supposed to go. So I was drilling it using this. But this hole drifted. So I'm going to weld that hole shut like Mr. Heavy Chevy and I'll move it over. Oh, here's another thing. So I'm sick of trying to blow the snow. So what I'm going to do is take these parts here and this thing here, if you could see it, it's, that's my uh, plow blade. No, no there's there's a part of it that's the handle that moves it up and down, in and out, and there's a cable there too. So yeah, so that's supposed to be assembled, but I have to take the. Um, Oh, you can't see it here. You have to take the front front bumper apart. What a good dog. Yeah, so that's what's going to go on anyway. We're going to make a, a hole with our drill press today. And uh, i got to figure out how I can clamp it. Clamp the stock down. I don't have any... i got nothing that fits these slots. I don't have any whatever they call those things that clamp your stock in. So I gotta fake it using maybe some C clamps. Uh, yeah. C clamp. Ah yes. Yeah I like to keep everything neat. You know? Don't want to have a mess on my uh, workbench. I don't want to clutter things up because you know you get it cluttered up and uh, it just looks terrible. So I like to keep things just so you know. I mean, neat, Nick. I can't help it. Probably can't see in there. That's my air conditioner. God, what a pain. It's still, I'm still having trouble getting it in there. This is my glove box. Yep. At least I got the compressor in and I got the condenser in. I still got some parts to. I need to put a part on the firewall. Okay, well that's it. I'll let you go now. <laughs> okay, hole gone. Good. Hmm? Yeah, see? Hole. Hole. All gone. Okay. Well, there it is. This is my first hole on my new drill press. And boy, was it nice. It went exactly where I wanted it. Let's see. Well, it looks like by the mark. Looks like I missed the mark, but the mark wasn't where the hole had to be because uh, what I did was I bolted it in with that bolt and then I drew the circle 
and then I ran a small drill in, and then I ran the big drill bit through where the small drill bit had gone. So, in reality, that sucker is exactly where it's supposed to go. Yay! Wonderful. Wonderful new drill presser. Plus, it's so much easier to drill a hole with a dull drill when you got a drill press. I recommend getting one for yourself. Very fun tool. Okay. See, the lights are back in. And the brace for it that we just drilled the hole is back in there. And it's um, positioned like this at the one end. And then, whoops, and then we run the zoom on here. Let's go around and look at the other end. This was a screwed up hole. And I just drill pressed in the right spot. And you can see that whoa. This end is just like the other end. So woohoo. Very happy. This is what that makes me. Seems like a little thing. But I think my turn signal's gonna turn out just fine. Um, so onward and upward, what we're going to do now is we, we're going to see that hole right there. We're going to put some steel back. Whoa! I don't know much where I'm stepping here. We're going to put some steel back here. Um, wait, hold on. Zooming right there, and I'll put a piece of steel going vertical to, to pick up on that hole that's on this side somewhere. And there. Oh. Hang on, there it is, right there. Okay, enough zooming. So, um yeah, I'm going to cut a couple pieces of steel and weld them in there. Okay. See you later. Bye. Ha! Woohoo! Is there another piece? Yeah. I just love this. You can drill a hole exactly where you want it. Yeah. You know how kind of one thing leads to another thing. So I get my new tractor and I'm mowing my lawn. You know? Woohoo. Then I got to certain obstacles in a way, like the garage and the truck. And what do you know? There's not enough room between the garage and the truck to get the new lawnmower in there. So, gotta move the truck. Well, I couldn't even find the keys to it. And then, of course, the battery's dead. And on top of that, um, since this truck's got a computer, there's um, a connection problem between the computer and the rest of the guts of the truck. So the truck doesn't seem to want to idle. So you can't, you can't uh, put it in gear. I think that stupid computer's running the timing or something. So I can't, I can't get the truck running good enough to move it out out of its little, the t where the tires have sunk in, it hasn't got enough oomph to move. I think the computer's not in gear. I got a message 
says something about um, check the engine or what. So, in order to uh, mow that little patch, I'm going to have to nurdle dirl around with the truck, and of course it's got a dead battery. So I got my battery charger. Yeah, my old Dayton. Whoop! Slow down. My old Dayton Granger battery charger from the old days. Got it working. 1970s boys. That's a battery charger that is paid back. Yep. So that's uh, what we're doing and then can't work on the hot rod. Which is over here somewhere. Oh, that's the dog. Well, anyway, working on a hot rod in between times. Well, you guys that have drill presses, boy, I've been wanting one for a long time. Look at those. Look at those chips. Is that sweet or what? I mean, I mean, you can't do that by hand. You can't get, you can't get those neat squigglies get snarled up in your finger. Let me tell you. It's sweet. My hole is, my hole that I wanted in that piece of steel is exactly Exactly in the right spot. Yeah. I love it. Merry Christmas to me. Okay. Job well done. Boom. Gotta weld it up. So there you go. Turn signals. Yeah. And to move the truck. I got her started. I'm thinking the computer's starting to get uh, lose contact with reality. She's not starting so good. But got it running good enough to move it. So, happy days. Bye.